Before there was a Silverado, the GM engineers had come up with a new truck design that they codenamed the C10. It's GM's code designation for this series of trucks beginning in 1960 through 1966, which are known as the first gen, and this truck, which is 1967 to 72, second gen. The second gen was known as the Action Line, and the GM engineers were battling against Dodge and Ford for superiority in the pickup market. Let's check out what's under the hood. That's a modern ZZ6 350 Chevrolet engine. Power steering was added to this truck, Hydroboost brakes, four core radiator with dual electric fans, everything needed to make this truck reliable and usable every day. That is if you can afford the fuel. When you have a classic truck, there's tons of aftermarket support. For instance, this truck has AM FM stereo with Bluetooth, a unit that doesn't butcher up the dash, fits in the original location, ice cold air conditioning, digital gauges, tilt steering column, leather wrapped steering wheels like this one from United Pacific to make your truck super comfortable and up to date. New vehicles don't even come with ashtrays these days, but with your C10, you're gonna get an ashtray and a lighter. C10s came in short bed and long bed, and this truck started out as a long bed. With United Pacific's sheet metal, we were able to convert this from a long bed to a short bed. It's got new bed sides, new bed floor, new tailgate, installed these items, painted them, and we had a short bed truck. As I said earlier, aftermarket support for the C10s is phenomenal. For instance, this truck has four-wheel disc brakes, coilover shocks that you can adjust the ride height. It's got a brand new differential, drive shaft, front suspension, exhaust system, makes this truck usable in an everyday sense. When we built this truck, it had its issues just like any old truck. One of the issues that's very common is the rocker panels being rusted out, and this truck was no exception. With United Pacific's rocker panel, we were able to replace this, fix all the rust, and make it look just like it did from the factory. If you've ever seen a classic car driving down the highway in the evening, you've noticed that the lights don't seem particularly bright. That's because they're the old incandescent technology. United Pacific has designed LED lighting for classic vehicles. This 71 Chevy truck, for instance, has modern LED lighting that makes you stand out just as bright as any modern car. We have also incorporated LED technology into the rear view mirrors. This particular truck has the optional cargo light. Puts out beautiful white light, lights up whatever's in your bed at night. But this has something special. It has a third brake light integrated into it. Rounding out the back of this truck is upgraded LED lighting for the taillights and backup. It also has sequential operation so the light sweeps from the left to the right, just like a modern car. Let's start this up. Driving this truck is quite a thrill. It's got a ZZ6 GM crate engine, which is 405 horsepower and 406 foot-pounds of torque. Torque is intoxicating. It's hard to stay off the gas when you're pulling out from a stop sign or a light. Being as low as it is, it rides really great. The coil over suspension doesn't matter the ride height. Just because it's low doesn't mean it isn't smooth. This truck is a blast to drive on a Southern California afternoon. Whether you're going to the beach or going to go to your favorite burger joint, just make sure there's a gas station nearby. When these trucks were designed in the 60s, the second gen got the benefit of more leg room. And these trucks are really comfortable. Sitting in a stoplight, you usually get thumbs up. It's amazing how many people are really into classic trucks. I just got thumbs up from a trucker that drove by. C10s offer performance, luxury, and even glamour wrapped up in a classic truck. If you like any of the parts we've looked over, such as the lighting and the sheet metal, look us up on upcarparts.com.